Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live in the studio tonight with a recap. Matt. Yeah, Irene, you and the governor covered a lot of ground. I'm going to focus on three newsmakers tonight that surround schools, restaurants, and food delivery. Starting with schools, the governor was adamant that even as New York City closes theirs, Connecticut's districts will have the final say on staying open. He looks to Europe, where schools stayed open during a spike in cases. Especially the elementary school. They found and we have found that um, masks in the classroom uh, is not only good for your emotional health, good for your educational health, but it's also safe in terms of your physical health. New tonight, we did learn that districts that do close stand to lose out on COVID-related financial aid. The governor explained why. It's not a penalty. It's just that you don't need um, the masks, the gowns, the disinfecting, uh, a lot of the things that we're providing schools so they can stay open safely. But if you decide uh, you feel more comfortable closing your school or going all virtual, we can redirect that PPE to places that really need it. Restaurants' financial lives may be at stake this holiday. A viewer posed a question that brought us back to the spring shutdown, where restaurants had to scrap St. Patrick's Day celebrations planned weeks ahead on just a moment's notice. They're worried they may once again have to close right before a big holiday. Governor Lamont could not provide them with the assurances they were looking for. If the infection rate continues to go up, we've got to do everything we can to bend the curve. I don't want to unnecessarily hassle people, but we want to do things that make a difference. Um, I got to admit that I look at our other states uh, around the country and um, restricting indoor dining um, is one of the things that uh, is on the menu, so to speak. But there is hope for some in the service industry. Other states are capping fees on delivery services like DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub at roughly 15%. Governor Lamont thought it was a great idea and will consider making it part of an executive order. You want it at a, at a rate that people are able to deliver the food, especially to seniors, especially to those in quarantine. But I don't want people ripping us off either. And we ended the night talking about the holiday, specifically the shopping season. Governor Lamont says as long as the store has 50% capacity with everyone staying socially distanced and masked, he expects a safe Black Friday. He did mention, though, that if people get careless about those rules, things could change. Live here in studio, Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.